First, we describe the problems of traditional drag and drop interactions. Now, the user wants to drag this file to the folder 2007. She drags the file, drag, 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 drag. and drops it. Next, the user wants to drag this file to the folder 2007 March. She cannot drop a file directly into a deep folder so she first opens the new window and open the target folder Switch the window, drag the file, switch the window, and drop the file. So why were these operations difficult? In traditional interactions, users must keep the mouse button down during a dragging operation. Our proposal is to make users free from this occupation using through and catch interactions. Now, the user wants to drag this file to the folder 2007 again. She throws the file, scrolls the window, and drops the file. Next, the user wants to drag this file to the folder 2007 March. She throws the file, scrolls the window, opens the target folder, and drops the file. Users can perform multiple drag and drop operations in parallel. In our technique, users can create a group of thrown objects. The objects in the group can be handled at the same time or separated from the group. Using this grouping feature, users can perform drag and drop operations in a more efficient way. Our technique also allows users to copy and remove objects without using two verbal turns and shortcut keys. When users threw it upward, the objects were copied. When users threw it downward, the objects were removed from the screen. We developed several prototype applications besides a file manager. In a text editor, users can cut, copy, and paste sentences without using context menus and keyboard shortcuts. In the scrapbooking tool, Users can select a region, through it, and paste it onto a blank page. 